In our last video lecture, we discussed equations of lines parallel to the y-axis and equation of the y-axis. The video link of the tutorial is given in the description box below. Now, what we are going to discuss here is equations of lines parallel to the x-axis and equation of the x-axis. It's quite similar to what we discussed in the case of y-axis. So if you have watched that one, then it is very easy for you to understand. Let's begin our discussion. And the first point that we will discuss is equation of lines parallel to the x-axis. This is our graph. The horizontal axis is the x-axis and the vertical axis is the y-axis. Now, let's take this point, uh, let's say this point 4, okay? And from this point 4, let's draw a line through this point 4. Now, this line that passes through the point 4 is parallel to the x axis. We have to tell about its, uh, we have to tell the equation of this line. We don't know. Let's assume that the equation of this line is ax plus by plus c equal to zero. That is the general representation of a line, like right? a linear equation in two variables is a line. And let's suppose, let's say that this is the equation. Okay but it's the general representation. We still don't know the exact equation. Now, this if this point is four, it means that all the points on this line will have the coordinate, y coordinate as four. So if you talk about this particular point, this is one, this is four. So this point is one comma four. The x coordinate is one and the y coordinate is four need some space so let's write it here 1 comma 4 now this is 2 so this point will be this point will be 2 comma 4 the x coordinate is 2 and the y coordinate is 4 now if this is 3 this point will be 3 comma 4 this point will be 4 comma 4 and then 5 comma 4 then 6 comma 4 and so on and so forth okay in the same way here you will have minus 1 comma 4 and this will be minus 2 comma 4 and so on and so forth okay now not only these integer values, that is four is fixed in this case, but not only these integer values, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, or minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. On the x axis, it can take any value, be it a rational number or be it an irrational number. Like in this case, here you can have, this is five. So let's say that this is 5.5. Let's say that our 5.7 will come somewhere here. So if this is 5.7, then this point, this point will be 4, sorry, this point will be 5.7 comma 4. The point is that this 4 is going to be fixed because y coordinate is 4 that is fixed in this case. But here you can have integer value, you can have a rational number, you can have an irrational number. It means that if this is, we have assumed that let this be the equation of this line, then the solutions, then all the points, then all the points that lie on this line are of the form r comma 4. This 4 will be fixed because y coordinate is equal to 4 is fixed. This r is actually a real number is a real number. So this r can be one, this can be minus one, can be two, can be minus two, can be square root of seven, can be square root of 11, can be square root of 30. Doesn't matter what value you take here, all these points, that is real number comma four will lie on this particular line. Therefore, 
you will say that the solutions of this particular equation will be r comma 4 why because all the points that lie on this particular line will be the solutions of this particular equation that is ax plus by plus c equal to 0 that we have assumed to be the equation of this line right but this is a general representation okay now we'll have infinite number of infinite number of such points on this line infinite number of points it means that you'll have infinitely many solutions of this linear equation in two variables that is the equation of this line we have assumed again if you haven't watched our earlier video tutorials on graphs of linear equation in two variables on solutions of linear equation in two variables then you will not be able to understand this particular video tutorial for that please go to the uh, playlist uh, grade 9 mathematics watch our earlier video tutorials then only you can understand it right so one thing is clear r comma 4 will be the solutions of this particular equation and will have infinite number of uh, solutions for this equation but still we don't know the equation okay this is 4 this is basically what it is y equal to 4 because y coordinate is 4 and on this y axis our x coordinate is always 0 that we know okay now we can write this y is equal to 4 as y minus 4 equal to 0 it's a linear equation in two variables let's rewrite it as 0 multiplied by x plus y plus minus 4 equal to 0 we have actually rewritten it this equation in the form of a linear equation in two variables where we, the two variables are x and y now basically if you properly look at this particular equation it is of the form ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 where our a is 0 our b is 1 and our c is minus 4 right so we have rewritten this equation in the form of a linear equation in two variables okay now since the first term is 0 multiplied by x that is the leading coefficient is 0 the leading coefficient is 0 so doesn't matter what value you put at the place of x whether you put 1 you put minus 1 you put 2 you put minus 2 you put a square root of 2 you put a square root of 11 you put a square root of 111 doesn't matter what you put here this particular thing will always the first term will always be reduced to 0 so basically you will get 0 plus y minus 4 equal to 0 and why will it will always be reduced to 0 because it is being multiplied by 0 every time so you will get y is equal to 4 every time you'll get y is equal to 4 doesn't matter what value of x you put uh, here now it means that it means that the solution of this equation is actually of the form r comma 4 what's r r is a real number it tells you that you can put any value here it can be any real number it can be 1 minus 1 2 minus 2 square root of 2 square root of 11 square root of 111 you could put 10 lakh here doesn't matter what you put here you'll always get y coordinate as 4 therefore the solutions of this particular equation will be represented by r comma 4 and you'll have infinite you'll have infinite number of such solutions for this particular equation okay so r comma 4 is the form of solutions for this particular equation r comma 4 is the solutions of this particular equation infinite number of solutions infinite number of points so basically if you look at this r comma 4 that we assumed for this the solutions that we assumed for this particular equation and this r comma 4 for this particular equation it means that the equation that we are actually looking for this line is y equal this y equal to 4 or y minus 4 equal to 0 that we had rewritten it as this one why because r comma 4 is a solution is a form of solutions for this particular equation r comma 4 is also 
the solutions for this particular equation. That means the line that passes through this point 4 is actually y equal to 4. Is y equal to 4. So what if your line passes from this point? That will be y equal to 2. y equal to 2. Okay, so in general, in general, if your equation is of the form y equal to a, let's say that that a is somewhere here, any it can be any number, let's say that that's here, and if a line passes from this one, this is the point a. Right? So if this A is the point through which the line is passing, then the equation of the line is y equal to A. Or in reverse way, if y is equal to A, then the line will pass from that point A. Excuse me. Okay. So what would happen if your line if your line passes from this one, minus 4, the equation of the line will be y is equal to minus 4. y is equal to minus 4 or y plus 4 equal to 0. So if you further talk, want to talk in a, a, in a more general way, if your equation is of the form ay plus c equal to 0, like if your equation is 2y plus 4 equal to 0 or it's 2y minus 4 equal to 0. From here, your y is equal to minus 2. From here, your y is equal to 2. So in the case of y equal to minus 2, in the case of y equal to minus 2, your line will pass through this minus 2. And in this case, y equal to 2, your line will pass through this point 2. Let's take one more example. If your equation is of the form 3y plus 6 equal to 0 or 3y minus 6 equal to 0. Sorry, let's change some number. This is 9, this is 12. So from here, you will get y is equal to minus 3. That is y is equal to minus 9 by 3 that is y is equal to 3 minus 3 and from here you will get y is equal to 12 by 3 that is y is equal to 4 so y is equal to minus 3 means that your line will pass from this point and y is equal to 4 means that your line will pass through this point 4 right so basically if your equation is of the form a y plus c as we have seen here in these four examples so your y will be equal to minus c by a it means that if y is equal to minus c by a it means that your line is passing through the point minus c by a sorry 0 comma minus c by a. Why is 0? Because all the points that we have seen so far here that lie on y axis have actually 0 as the x coordinate because all the points on the y axis have their x coordinate as 0. So this is the general representation. Now what about the equation of the y axis? What about the equation of the x axis? Sorry, this point, equation of the x axis. Well, in that case, it's quite simple as what we saw here. It's quite similar to that one. So, this is the x axis. This is a point 0. This is a point 1, comma 0. This is a point 2, comma 0. This is a point. 3 comma 0 and this is the point 4 comma 0 and so on and so forth similarly here 
this is minus 1 comma 0 this is minus 3 comma 0 and so on and so forth we don't know about the equation of this line let's say that the general representation of a line is ax plus by plus c equal to 0 okay the general representation of a line now all the points all the points that lie on this line are actually of the form if you see here are actually of the form r comma 0 here we saw it was r comma 4 because all the points sorry the line was passing through the point 4 so y coordinate was fixed in the same way when you are talking about the x-axis, then on the x-axis, your y-coordinate will always be 0. Your y-coordinate will always be 0. Therefore, the, all the points that lie on this line are of the form r, 0, where your r is, can be any real number. It can be integer like minus 3, minus 1, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. It can be a a rational number like 5 by 2 minus 5 by 2 7 by 2 minus 7 by 2 or it can be an irrational number like square root of 11 square root of 13 square root of 111 so on and so forth that is what this real number tells us so the points that lie on this particular line are of the form r comma comma zero therefore we know that all the points that lie on this line will be solutions will be solutions of this equation that we have assumed to be the equation of this particular line but still we don't know the exact equation okay that thing is clear and we'll have infinitely many solutions such solutions infinite number of such solutions okay now if you look at this particular point that is this point zero then we can write it as we can write it as x sorry we can write it as y equal to 0 this point is y equal to 0 y because all the uh, points on this line will have their y coordinate as 0 and we are talking about this point let's rewrite it as 0 multiplied by x plus y plus 0 equal to 0. Now this we have written in the form of ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 where, where a is 0, our b is 1 and our c is 0. Now since this term since this term has 0 as its leading coefficient it means that doesn't matter what value what value you put at the place of x whether you put 1 you put minus 1 you put 2 you put minus 2 you put square root of 11 you put square root of 13 any value you take any value this term will always be reduced to 0 this term will always be reduced to 0 it means that It means that whatever value you put here, your y will always be equal to 0 because it is of the form 0 plus y plus 0 equal to 0, which will give you y equal to 0. So every time we'll get y equal to 0 and that tells you that your solutions, the solutions of this particular equation will be of the form r comma 0, r real number. It can be any real number, it can be any real number and we'll have infinite such solutions, infinite such solutions. So these are the solutions of this equation or of this equation. Basically this equation has been re uh, rewritten as for this one, y is equal to 0. So if r comma 0 is a solution of this particular equation, and same thing we have seen here r comma 0 is the solution of this equation you have infinite number of solutions in this case and you have infinite number of solutions in this case it means that the equation that we are looking for is actually y equal to 0 the equation of this x axis is y equal to 0 as we saw in the case of y axis that is the equation of the y axis is given by x equal to 0 in the same way, the equation of the x-axis is y equal to 0.